hello guys welcome back so now the next thing that we will do in this video is basically to check that is if the user is already logged in then in that case we will send the user from the login screen directly here to the man app or in simple words to the dashboard of fragment screen however if the user is not already logged in then the user will be on the the user will be navigated to the login screen automatically now for that purpose you already know that we have implemented the user preferences user preferences dot dot file where we have after successful login we save the user information to the local storage using the shared preferences and also we get or you can say read the user information from the local storage using the shared preferences so as we have store and retrieve the user info from the shared preferences i mean we have implemented these things already so it is now simple all we need is we need to simply go back to our man dot dot and in here what we need to do is we can simply say home future builder in here we can specify the future which is basically the user preferences so we can say user remember user prefs okay i mean this one okay this class remember user prefs so we can say you remember user preferences dot and we will simply call the method which is read user info that is read or you can say get the user information from the f phone local storage using the shared preferences okay so that current user information we have to get from the phone local storage using the shared preferences i mean we have already get that okay we have implemented that already inside this method so now we have to call this method which will return the current user info so we have to just call that method here so simple and so easy because we have already implemented that okay so it will basically return us the current user information which it gets from the phone local storage using the shared preferences so now here we will check that is if data snapshot dot data so if data become equals to null then in that case we will simply return the login screen else return the dashboard dashboard of fragments so now let's just test the application and i will explain the code again okay you remember that i was logged in okay when i close the app now let me install the app again on the phone and you will see that i am already logged in because previously i was log, uh, logged into the app successfully i hope you remember that in the previous video when we were testing the app and also at the start of this video i show you this you already see this phone that i was logged in and i was here on the dashboard so even if i close the app and i open up the app again then i will be at the uh, dashboard screen that is i will be already logged into the app until unless i logged out from the app i sign out from the app only then it will send me to the login screen and then when i close the app and i start the app again after clicking the sign out button okay i i will be redirected i mean the app will redirect me to the login screen and then when i close the app and open up the app again then i will be redirected to the login screen because i have already logged out from the app by clicking the log out button or you can say the sign out button so i hope now you understand this so let me tell you now if you remember we have already implemented the user preferences and i have told you guys that is we name this 
the specific name we give to this class which is remember user preferences that is the user information first what we did that is at the time of login we have implemented this method that is we store or save the user information to the phone local storage using the shared preferences by the key name current user then after it we also implemented this other method which in this method what we have implemented you already know that we get that information which we save to the phone local storage using shared references with the key name current user in this method we get that information we retrieve or you can say we read that information from the phone local storage using the shared references with the key name current user with the key name current user we have saved and then with the key name current user we retrieve that is we get that information so as you know that uh, this method will return this current user information that is the user who already logged in okay that information it is returning from here so what we did in this video is basically we specify here future that is we call up our that method read user information that is we need we need to check either the user already logged in or not for example in the current scenario the user was already logged in so the information is stored to the phone local storage okay so it will return the user information for example in my case it was john information john id john email john password okay all the john information so this current user info will return that so that's why as it contain the information so this data snapshot basically represents that john information okay data snapshot represent that data which is returning from here okay it can be john it can be any user information so that information is represented by this data snapshot so we check that is if that data snapshot contains data for example in the current scenario it contains the data that is john is already logged in so this data snapshot contains the john information so it is not equals to null that's why it will execute the else statement that is data snapshot has data it is not equals to null null simply means that when the user is already not logged in so this current user info which will be returned from this method after calling it from here it will if the user is not logged in okay so it will return null in that case when it returns null then in that case null it will be equals to null so in that case it will redirect the user to the login screen but in the current scenario the user was already logged in so it do not return us the null instead it return us the john user information so in that case it will execute the else statement as data snapshot is equals to the john complete information so it is not equals to null so it will execute the else statement and that's why it shows this dashboard of fragments where we have basically these four button from where we can access our four fragment screens so if you want to test and check the if condition that is when the user is not already logged in then in that case let me just close the app what I'm going to do is I will go to the details of this app or okay, to the app information and from here you can simply go to the storage and simply clear the storage that is delete the information which this app stores okay and now as it's clear the information that is it delete the uh, local storage information of this app from this phone which the user is using okay so if I open up the app then it will redirect me to the login screen okay because we clear the local storage uh, information for this cloud app from this phone okay so you see that now in that case this if condition executed because now when it call up this method then the current user info the current user info returns from here null as there is no information so it will return us null and when null is returned then it will check as the, the snapshot dot data as it becomes equals to null that's why it returns us to the login screen however as I told you if the user login successfully we will also implement the logout button again in the next video and then you will see that I'm logged in successfully so if I close the app okay the user is already logged in now you see that now if I open up the app again then it will redirect me to the dashboard screen